back at any minute. Hmm. Huh. I think I better find out where I am first. If Tom does come back, I can always jump into the bushes. Lovely theme. What a dump. The castle looks like it's been fighting a battle with nature for the past ten years. And lost. The boy's around twelve years old, I guess. Looks like he could be watching me. Hey, kid! I know you're there. Come out, I'm not gonna hurt you. You couldn't anyway. I'm much too quick for you. If you say so. I'm Darren Michaels, a mighty physics student. I'm Ben Helsing. Whoa, uh, the vampire hunter? I always thought you were a bit older, sir. <laughs> Can you tell me where I am? What's this castle? Eh? It's the old Gordon's place. The Gordon's? From Willow Creek? Willow Creek? I don't know what you're talking about. Sir Richard and Lady Eleanor used to live here. And where are we exactly? Where? In Wales. Oh, great. Have you seen the two men who are living in the castle now? Yes. Nasty men. <laughs> you bet. One of them chased me. Said he would call the police if I don't disappear. I'm sure he wouldn't do that. The woman was much nicer. Which woman? The pretty one. I see. Was here a few weeks ago. She was snooping around and asked me about the summer house and the laboratory. And then she went. She took some blood samples with her. Strange. Uh, did, did she tell you her name, or what she planned to do with them? She needed the blood for research. Angelina said... Whoa, what? For research. Maybe she's a vampire hunter too. What did the woman look like? Well, like a woman. Pretty. Like this? Did she look like this? Yes, that's her. But... She had long blonde hair when she was here. I liked her much more like that. Long blonde hair. And, and when did you say she was here? It was before my birthday. About four weeks ago. Long before we coincidentally bumped into each other in Biddeford. What kind of summer house is that? It's all ruins. Blew up. Really? Yes. A long time ago. My father says that old Sir Richard died in the explosion. He had his laboratory in the summer house. He was a scientist. I think he was a vampire. Really? Of course. He experimented with blood. Who else does that kind of thing? Maybe you're right. And they gave up the castle after the explosion? Maybe. That was ten years ago. Since I've been coming here, the castle has always been empty. What exactly did the woman do when she was here? Looked at the castle in the summer house, especially the house. Do you know what she did there? Looked for something, and I think she tried to get into the old laboratory. At some point, she gave up and started searching at the tomb in the marshes. I had to go home because it was starting to get dark. When I came back the next day, she walked past me, coming from the summer house. She had a bag of blood in her hand and was very happy. And then, she left. I saw some toys in the castle. 
Are they yours? Yes, all my things. And my car. I got that for my birthday. I daren't go in there since those men have been there. You better not. They're dangerous. Are they werewolves? Uh, no. But they kidnapped me. Cool. Listen, uh, Van Helsing, can you do me a favor and keep watch for the car and, and the other man coming back? I need to have a look around here and, uh, I need a lookout. Of course. Nothing gets past me. Excellent. It can't possibly be a coincidence. Angela snoops around the Gordon estate and I discover a connection to this very family in Biddeford. Did Angelina lie to me? The question is, did she have a good reason, or does she work for the Order? I can't leave here before I found some answers. Hey, look! Oh, my car! guy's hatchet. Oh, it's seen better days. Can I just borrow the hatchet? Yeah, of course. A water hose, which apparently they used to use to blast the god. Oh, it's had it. There's a huge rip in it about a meter long. There's probably water in it over the winter, and when it froze, it'll have burst it. Hoses have been real useful to me up till now. Hopefully the same goes for this one. The piece with the rip can't be repaired. I'll cut that bit out. Okay, now I've got two halfway usable hose ends. The house, or what's left of it, is not as old as the other runes here. Apart from the burnt places on the runes, I can't spot anything else of interest. is full to the brim with water. The outlet's probably blocked so that the rainwater can't escape. That's where someone either tried to turn into the entrance, or the wall fell down through old age. A tree's blocking the way. But I reckon I can climb over the trunk. Oh, damn! That could also have gone in my eye. I think that the picture has turned out very well. Is that also some kind of grave? Nope. Rather more like a water basin. There's about a centimeter of duckweed floating on the water. Luckily, it seems to have not rained here for a while. That's why the Morris is relatively hard and dry. Otherwise, I would have sunken deeper and might not have been able to get out on my own. Huh. A 
hook. It still looks pretty sound despite the rust. Ah, oh, it's damn well fixed. I'm not gonna get it out with my bare hands. I'll try to loosen the hook using the hatchet. worked amazingly well. It's a miracle that so much of the house is still standing after the tree smashed into it. Nothing interesting to see. The roof has caved in and buried the room below it. Three very similar trees, all about as thick as an arm, about three or four meters tall and pretty bent over by the wind. and weathered, but it still works. Looks useful. I'll take it with me. This'll take a while. The axe is real blunt. Okay, I felled the trees and trimmed the trunks for a good one and a half meters. The tree trunks are about an arm's thickness and pretty long. Now how does that go? You can somehow rig up a tripod out of three pieces of wood. So... And then, like so. Yep, exactly. And now... One tripod. Just has to be erected now. I'll position it as well as I can over the sarcophagus. A stone figure holding weigh-in scales. The scales are empty. This stone statue is covered in moss, like the others. It's carrying a metal shield. Unusual. In horror stories, there's always secret passageways under sarcophaguses like this. And they always lead down into secret underground chambers. In reality, though, I think I can exclude that idea. There are only probably some horrible beetles and corpse-eating maggots in there. There are two belts. They look like carrion slings. And they look new. The belts are a ripstop weave. They'll sure hold quite a bit. Little Van Helsing reckoned that Angelina had spent a long time messing around the tomb here. And here's the lid, not lying squarely on the sarcophagus. There are some stone chips which have come off the edge. Doesn't look all too old. Angelina had opened the sarcophagus. That much is clear. But why? I'll hang the pulley on the rope. I'll try to get as much of the rope as I can.
I'll place the sling around the back right corner and the other around the front left one. The slings are exactly long enough to touch in the middle. The length just makes it. Real careful. Uh, I hope it's gonna hold. What have we got here? Steps leading down. Hmm. The gap is big enough to squeeze through. I only hope that my rig up doesn't collapse as soon as I'm in. this then? Looks like the inside of a tower. And here's some kind of crater in the floor. Looks like something's exploded here. Chains, wrought iron rings, crudely hewn stones. Not exactly what you'd call modern craftsmanship. Rather more like a Frankenstein movie. It looks like there wasn't any fire. There's no charring in the rubble. A piece of plastic tube. Okay, I'll stick it in. Rather light. The walls of the pipe are thin. Maybe it belongs to part of a ventilation system or something. Whoa, hey! A welding torch! Angelina was using some heavy gear. But it doesn't look like it's been used. The safe wasn't cut open. The poster survived the explosion relatively undamaged. It was probably hit squarely by the pressure wave, and then pressed against the wall. Hmm, here's a table showing the occurrences of blood groups. Yeah, great. The tube fits exactly in the hose. Not. If I heat it up first, it ought to expand. And then I could connect the two hose ends. Works perfectly, but it's not going to help me much with the safe. If I heat up the plastic tube, it'll expand. Then the ends of the hose will fit into the tube. I think that'll do. It fits. Just wait a bit while it cools down. Done. It's a pretty close fit on the hose. No more water's getting out of there. When the water flows through it, that'll cool the tube down completely. There's paper lying everywhere. Most of it's soaked through from rainwater. Huh. Here's a folder. Oh, it's only wet on one corner. Newspaper cuttings. 1981. Twelve years ago, William Gordon in fatal accident, Willow Creek. William Gordon fell on Tuesday from his studio in the tower of his home due to unknown causes. Blah, blah, blah. William Gordon, suicide. As the police today announced, 
We are now dealing with the fall of the Master of Blackmere Castle, close by the village of Willow Creek. In all probability, a suicide. Here's another piece a week later. Grim serial murders in Willow Creek. Blah, blah, blah. Latest victim of Bloody Trail, Vic Valley, just 12 years old. According to police sources, his body was found next to a stone circle in the woods. The condition of the corpse gives reason to suspect a ritual killing. Another two weeks later. Main suspect in Willow Creek murders identified. As Scotland Yard has announced, it has been established that at three of the murder scenes, there are signs which suggest the involvement of Samuel Gordon, the grandson of William Gordon, who was killed last month. Samuel Gordon was found dead two weeks ago at the foot of one of the towers of Blackmere Castle. Apparently the tower from which his grandfather had previously... Reports about the murder fest in Willow Creek 12 years ago. No wonder that Sir Richard was interested in it. William was his brother. <laughs> <laughs>